motorsport. This is what it has taught me, and this can bleed out to the rest part of your life. You have to focus on the things that you can control. In racing, and I'm going to keep going back to this, but this applies to everyone. On the circuit, you cannot control the weather. You can't control your hardware in your car. You can't control the conditions of the circuit. You can't control your competitor. But what can you control? You can control yourself. You can control the amount of time that you spend on your skill set. You can control the amount of time you put into it, your time, your dedication. Don't focus on the end goal, focus on the process. Now this is an interesting thing. Even though we talk about goals and, and that's your focus, it's the process to get there. Once again in racing, if a guy is on his last lap at the Formula 1, Lewis Hamilton is thinking, two corners from the end, this happens all the time to drivers. You see these crashes on the last lap. They're thinking about them being on the podium. They're thinking that, oh, I've overtaken him. Um, I've got 10 points up on him from metal. What happens? They lose their concentration on that point of time where they are. And they crash. And this happens all the time. So you need to think about your process before that end goal. Last but not least, I always believe, and I said this earlier on, be the best person for the job. You work on your skill set, you work on who you are and how you're going to get there. You don't want to be the token person in your job. You don't want to be, oh, we need to have a female on the team. It's a big topic right now, isn't it? You know, female empowerment and blah, 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 and stuff like that. I want to be there because I was the right person for the job. And I think that's really important. I think in that way people respect you. You gain so much more respect and confidence for yourself in your job.